I brought along my friend Roger Berkowitz, who owns Legal Seafoods, and he's been in the fish business for over 50 years. Would you guys like to meet Roger? Yeah! yeah. Roger, we have so many questions to ask you. Not tough ones, I hope. No, no, they're not, uh, they're not gonna be tough. But Roger, you started in the fish business when you were eight, eight years, years old. old. Yeah. Tell us about, tell us how legal seafoods and the fish business wow. all began. Boy, you know, back in the 1950s, my father had a fish market in Cambridge, Massachusetts. And so uh, we all used to work and help out in the fish market. And we'd take a piece of fish and we'd weigh it up for customers coming in. And then we'd, we'd say, uh, tell them how much it was and they'd pay us. And then sometimes we'd take the fish and we'd go in the back of the room and we'd put some batter on it and we'd mm. fry it up and fish and chips to go. That was back in the 50s though. Not a lot of people were eating fish back then. So mm. we had to work real hard at it. But eventually, and we got into the 60s and the 70s and people started to figure out that, boy, you know something? Fish could taste good if you cooked it right and it was very healthy for you. And what they're finding out is that fish is brain food. It makes mm. you smarter. And they also found out that people all over the world, those countries that really ate fish as the major part of their diet, lived longer and they didn't get sick as often. So that's when the people in the United States started to think, wow, there is something about this fish. And so as we were working hard for so many years, and then all of a sudden fish started to get more popular.